1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Second 12, third 12, fourth 12, fifth 12. Oh. I'm trying to do some math, just like our forefathers did. My name is Ahmad Rizvi, and today I'm going to take you through a brief history of math. The first step that humankind ever took for mathematics was counting things. They probably tried different ways for it, but one of the earliest shreds of evidence of human counting is a set of notched bones found in Border Cave, South Africa, dating approximately 44,000 BCE. Another piece of evidence of counting on bones was found in Congo. It's called a Shango bone. It was first estimated to have originated between 9000 BCE and 6500 BCE. However, the dating of the site where it was discovered was re-evaluated. It is now believed to be more than 20,000 years old. These notched bones show the ability of very early humans to represent the concept of numbers in symbolic form. This ability to the identification of numbers in symbolic form separated the early humans from the animal kingdom in terms of mental capacities. Now let's go to ancient Mesopotamia. Somebody there spotted five camels and five cows at the same time. This guy thought that there was a resemblance in the quantity. So this guy used stones to count the total numbers of camels and cows. Here comes the idea of counting through stones. But what was the first mathematics system with complex multiplications and divisions and who invented this system once again let's go to mesopotamia where sumerians the oldest civilization of the world left evidence of their mathematic skills on clay tablets sumerians were avid mathematicians they developed complex systems of measurement as well as methods for dividing multiplying and calculating angles even writing down the first ever multiplication table on clay tablet. We actually use Sumerian's mathematics every day. It was the Sumerians who divided time into the minutes and seconds we still use. And since their number system worked on a base of 60 rather than our system of 10, that's why we have 60 minutes in an hour. The reason of using 60 as a base of a number system is actually quite simple. It's rooted in the design of our bodies. If you hold your hand out in front of you right now, you will notice that each of your fingers is divided into three segments. It's thought that ancient people would use the thumb of their right hand to tap each segment of the finger counting up to 12. When they reached 12, they would raise the finger on their left hand counting up the 12s. When you had 5 fingers raised on your left hand, you had 60 and you had to start again. The fact that there were 12 cycles of the moon in each year would have confirmed for the Sumerians that this was the number system intended by their gods. The 360 degrees we still use in angle measurement is another relic of this system. This is a very fine example of first ever mathematical system that depicts the extraordinary mental capacities of Sumerians. By utilizing their abilities, Sumerians invented few more things and you can check this out here. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for lots of more interesting videos.